the lion of Judah has broken every yoke, has given to the victory again and again. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke, he has given me the victory. are gathered at this meeting today and you expect the move of the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob with your eyes closed pick any song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords
Thank you, Jesus. God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. You are the Your hand, your hand. Oh, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. closed. Now I'm going to pray. I want you to plug your faith into that prayer. Know that whoever you have, whatever you want the Lord to do, His power is available to do those things right now. Let your amen be loud and clear as I pray. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. Very soon, the next few seconds from here, the power of God will begin to move from person to person. Our yokes shall be broken. Breakthroughs shall manifest. And those who have been pushed to the back for so long, they will regain their position. And those who have been losing things, losing things, losing things, the enemy that has been swallowing your things shall vomit them. Father, I pray for all your children gathered at this breakthrough clinic this very special breakthrough clinic father i pray that as many of them as are here looking on to the lord for one thing or the other as many as are gathered there this wonderful afternoon believing the lord for powerful things right there where they are i decree that there will be mighty open heavens in the name of jesus those powers that have been disconnecting you from your breakthroughs. Those powers that have been disconnecting you from what God wants to do for you. I bind those powers now. And right there where you are. Possess your possession. 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 Possess them, 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 in the name of Jesus. There are 71 persons here. You have a stubborn foundation and stubborn household witchcraft. They have decided that they will not let you go. But right there where you are, 
the power of God is going to come upon you. Whatsoever they are using to tie you down will be broken to pieces. Aha! That's number one. Number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Aha, 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 aha. Enough is enough. Be set free. 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 In the name of Jesus. Silence. The hand of God is falling on those people. 32, 33. 34 35 36 enough is enough they have harassed you for too long they are evil hand upon your head they are evil hand upon your womb they are evil hand upon your breast they are evil hand upon your back it's broken now it's broken now that's 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44, 45. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. You have harassed her for too long. Let her go. Fifty. The serpent assigned against this man. Anytime you want to move forward, it bites you. And you can't move forward again. The bite of the serpent upon your head. The bite is being removed now. That's 51. 52. You can't hide anymore. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Aha. The smell of death. The power of demotion. The spirit of stagnation. All these three is being taken out of somebody. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. And that's number 71. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence, beloved. Don't say anything for now. Just be silent. The power of God is now moving from person to person. Silent. Father, those who are here this morning, this afternoon, and your wealth is captured by marine spirits. Your wealth is captured and kept in the waters. Your wealth has been captured by a strange woman or a strange man or true sexual perversion. That word, Father, I pray that such people in that category, right there where they are, let your power fall upon them. Let them be set free. 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 In the name of Jesus. Silence. Complete silence. Surgery. It's going on the heart surgery is going on the womb let her go let her go i don't want to know who handed her over to you but by the name which is above all names jesus christ let her go now in the name of jesus We are not here to negotiate. We are not here to negotiate. And pray, O oh Lord, for anyone here. And there is a power sitting on your breakthrough. There is a throne of darkness assigned to limit your breakthrough. Right now, let the evil throne, the evil power, 
limiting your breakthrough, sitting on your breakthrough. Let them be overthrown now. Let them be overthrown. 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 In the name of Jesus. Silence, beloved. If you are that person in this meeting, a long time ago, somebody took you to a cemetery for ritual. Please run quickly to the altar here and be on your knees. You were taken to the cemetery for ritual. That thing is working against you now. Find a way quickly to the altar and be on your knees. The power of God wants to break that bondage today. This is the time to be free from all this yoke. Everybody will shout this prayer loud and clear. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. Because the louder you shout, the faster your breakthrough. Can you shout this louder than anyone here, please? Yokes. Bondages. Can I hear you shouting that loud and clear? Powers. Can you shout those three things loud and clear? Let your voice roar like thunder. Let your voice be louder than yours. A sign to bury my breakthroughs. Can I hear you shouting that now? Yo! Something is happening already. Aha. Aha. Yes. Yes. Destroy the bondage. Destroy the yoke. Destroy the power. Destroy the bondages. Destroy the yoke. Destroy the power. Destroy them. But support the kata. Riba sapanda kaya ba shanta raba kaya ba. Aha! In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at this altar, begin to shake your head now. Shake it well. As you shake it, the spirit of the grave will begin to come out. Do it aggressively. That's right. Your head is a symbol of your destiny. And you must be set free today. That's right. You can't stay. Aha. That's right. Continue. 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 Something is happening over there. That's right. What you have eaten or swallowed. That the enemy is using as a ladder against you. The spirit of God is pushing them out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your children here. Every power from the graveyard that has been harassing their destinies, I bind those powers and I cast them out. In the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Every power speaking death unto your situation, I bind that power now. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you. In Jesus name we pray. We we'll go back to your seat rejoicing now. As you pray this next prayer if you are here. For some strange reasons. You will be hearing strange voices in your ears. Please find a way to this altar. You have been hearing strange voices. Nobody else could hear them. But you hear these strange voices. Find a way to this altar and lay your right hand upon your head. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Those of you are coming out and those of you are on your seat, shout this prayer with holy anger. Please don't negotiate this kind of prayers. Powers assigned to bury my destiny. You are a liar. Damn! In the name of Jesus. The 
Jesus name we pray. Those of you at this altar to begin to shake that head. The powers that is firing arrows into your head, shake them out of that head. I bind and cast out every spirit of insanity. I bind and cast out every power that wants to disgrace your destiny. I bind and cast out every power that is assigned to torment you. Out, out. Out, 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 in the name of Jesus. You strange voice that has been harassing this people, I command you to go back to the senders. You receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing. Now. The hand of God has set you free today. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Aha. Now, right there where you are, pick another song of praises again. Sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings of the Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you once again. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Open our understanding here. And help us to war a good warfare. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat for a few minutes, please. Daniel chapter 5. In Daniel chapter 5, we take the title of our short exhortation before we begin to pray. The hand that writes obituaries. The hand that writes obituaries. Daniel chapter 5. I read from verse 1. Are we there? If you are not there, I'll wait for you. Everyone in Daniel chapter 5? Yes? Okay. Belshazzar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousand. Belshazzar, while he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the golden and silver vessels which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple which was in Jerusalem, that the king and his princes, his wives and his concubines might drink therein. Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God which was at Jerusalem, and the king and his princes, his wife and his concubines, drank in them. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver, of brass, of iron, of wood, and of stone. In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the walking's palace and the king saw the part of the arm that wrote. Then the king's countenance was changed and he stopped troubling so that the joints of his loins were loosed and his knees smote one against another because something had been written. Look at the end of scripture here, at the end of that chapter, verse 24. Daniel 5, 24. 
Then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this writing was written. And this is the writing that was written. Many, many taken or passing. This is the interpretation of the thing. Many. God had numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Taken. Thou art weighed in the balance and I found wanted. Perez. Thy kingdom is divided and given to Midis and Pasha. Verse 30. In that night was Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans. In that night was Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, slain. There is a hand that rides obituaries. This same hand was described before in Exodus when the magician said, This is the finger of God. There is somebody in this particular special meeting. And I want you to mark my words now. God is about to write the obituary of every problem in your life. God is about to write the obituary of every unrepentant opposition and stubborn opposition you are having. Any evil thing in anybody's life shall die today in the name of Jesus. All those stubborn, uncommonly stubborn situations, the finger of the judgment of God who issue the judgment of death upon them today. This amen you are saying is very weak. Whatever the sickness is, that is cancer, attention, whatever they say it is, all kinds of those sicknesses that have defied medication, the judgment of death shall be passed upon them right now. The Almighty has designed that those arrows and poisons and problems that have found their way illegally into your life must die today in the name of Jesus. The hand that writes obituaries has already written the obituary. And that enemy shall be disgraced. That is why we are here. And that's the second section of the prayers we're going to start praying just now. That finger of God is already lifted like this to write the obituary of your tormentors. And no power can reverse it. I want you to understand this very well. God started to trouble the Egyptians. And they started. Pharaoh the king remains stubborn. Just like some problems or solutions remain stubborn today. Moses threw down his rod. The magicians did the same thing. Moses said, okay, let's turn the, let the water turn to blood. The magicians also did the same thing. Moses caused frog and lice to come upon men. The magicians did the same thing. Moses caused frogs. The magicians did, they produced the frogs too. When Moses commanded lies to come upon men, they could not contend with that. They say, this is the finger of God. And that finger of God pointed at your enemies. We confuse them today. Uh, and it will make them to waste their powers. It will kill every pharaoh. And that finger is pointed out right now. And that's why we're going to start some second section of prayers now. There is hardly somebody on earth who does not have a pharaoh pursuing him or her. But when there is a pharaoh pursuing you, what you need is this finger. The king, Beshazzar, he stepped out of his boundary, began to drink with the lost cup. Not only did he do it, he brought his prostitutes, his brothers, his concubines, they were drinking from the cup of the Lord. But then the handwriting came and began to write. The Bible said the joints of his loins were immediately loose. His knees smote one another. What that finger was writing struck fear into the heart of that king. I pray for somebody here once again that the hand that writes obituary shall write the obituary of every wicked king tormenting your life. The God of the suddenness and the God of instant judgment shall destroy your spiritual Beshaza in the name of Jesus. Every sickness, every failure, every frustration, every confusion, 
every affliction, every person of darkness, their obituary shall be written now. Say, oh God, Allah, write the obituary of my problems in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Ride up, be shorty. Maseka tenda ya boshende ra boko sonto. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Continue, continue, continue. Don't be tired. Something is happening. This is not a day to negotiate. Amen. Let's continue a little bit further. Now we have established that there is a finger from heaven that rides. We have also established that that finger is the finger of God. We have also established that this is the only finger that can write the obituary of physical and spiritual things. Whether it's physical, whether it's spiritual, whether it's personality, whether it's first, that finger, that finger pointed out can write the obituary of it. No wonder that songwriter says, you can have the whole world. So, but give me Jesus. Because without Jesus, I'm satisfied. Once that finger that rise of Israel is behind you, any power that is opposed to you just wants to die. I pray for somebody here. Those forces that have been invading your dream life, I declare their obituary written today. In the name of Jesus. I declare their obituary written. In the name of Jesus. And all those powers that have been sponsoring problems against you, they are the one they are hiding in the dark and sponsoring problems, sponsoring problems. I declare the obituary written in the name of Jesus. Korah, Dathan, Abiram. When they were opposing Moses, they did not know that there is a finger that can write obituary. How do we provoke this finger to write? The first thing to do is to surrender your life to Jesus. This is a prophetic meeting. Surrender your life to Jesus. That one is not negotiable. We are not asked whether you go to church, you don't go to church. Don't worry about that one. You may be going to church and be far from God. Surrender your life to Jesus. Second thing to do is to repent from all your sins. And the third thing to do is to call upon this power. Call upon the arm that writes obituaries to come and begin to write the kind of thing that will put all your enemies to shame, that will disgrace your disgrace and torment your tormentors. That will put to flight every part that has been troubling your life. And this is why you are in this special breakthrough clinic. I know plenty of people that the enemy had written off. But immediately the Almighty gets into position, things began to change. There are people here too. They think they have defeated you now. They actually think you are finished. But within the next 10 days, situation shall change. Let your amen be loud and clear. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. Rise up on your feet. If you are here today, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered the life to Jesus. You cannot provoke the finger that rises obituary to right. So wherever you are, we don't have time to waste. 
If you know you are here and you are not born again, you don't surrender the life to Jesus. But at the same time, you know you have battles to fight. I want the Lord to fight for you. I'm only going to count about 10. Whatever you just run quickly to the altar here. Run quickly. If you don't run quickly to the altar, that means you don't really want to win in this battle. You want to surrender your life to Jesus. You've not done so before. One, two, three. Jesus is waiting for you here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Those of you at the front, I congratulate you. Let's bow down your head. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I pray for your children here. That you uphold them by your power. Keep them standing by your strength. Lay your hands upon them. Anoint them for great things. The decision they've taken today, let it be permanent in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Those of you at the front, open your eyes, look at me. You've taken the most important decision in life. I will congratulate you. Immediately we're close now. Don't run home. Just come here for a few minutes. So we can pray more with you. God bless you. you. May go back to your seat now. Thank you, Jesus. Let everybody remain standing now. Everybody remain standing now. You will sing this song before we start these prayers. The song you are singing is as important as the prayer you are praying. Make sure you sing with fire and with power. We have only a few minutes to pray. Do it with all your heart. I'm serving a God of miracles, I know, yes I know, I'm serving a God of miracles, I know, yes I know, are you serving a God of Answered by fire. God that 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 answered by fire. Yes. God of Elijah send on fire.
Holy Ghost tormentor mentor. Holy Ghost tormentor mentors. Ghost oppress oppressor. Holy Ghost tormentor mentors. Holy Ghost oppress oppressor. With a voice that roars like fire and like thunder, it is time to command that finger to rise. It says, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. It is that decree you want to issue now. Say, Oh, finger of God, Allah, fight for me now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. name we pray now quietly in your heart anything you want the Lord to do for you in this particular meeting begin to say it now say it now say it now say it now ask the Lord for a big thing a big thing amen now that you have said it with your mouth now in faith stretch forward your two hands as a prophetic action like somebody who wants to receive a big present just stretch forward those two hands and begin to receive it in faith just stretch it forward yes every desire of your heart right there where you are receive the answers to your prayers in the name of Jesus. There is one Igbo man here. Your antagonists are from the same compound where you were born. They have buried your wife, buried your children, buried your business in that compound. But I want to congratulate you for coming here today. Because right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke is broken completely. Keep your hands stretched for Receive your money back. Receive your children back. Receive your husband. Receive your children. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your letter. Collect it back. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha! I see a woman over there. As we were praying and praying, the materials that have been placed in your hand, they are amazing. I congratulate that woman. I see another person. That, is a, that was a medical report in your hand. That medical report has been withdrawn. Go for another checkup. You find out what those doctors said has been overruled. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. The key of your abundance that was stolen for years coming back into your hands now. 
something is happening here. Collect the key. Collect the key. Collect that key back. Collect it back. Collect it. Collect it. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Say this after me. Oh God that answered it by fire. I receive my answer by fire. In the name of Jesus. Can you say it and let me hear you? Amen. Say, oh God, that answered by fire. I receive my answer by fire. In the name of Jesus. Now you are going to say that. Amen. Amen. You are going to say that to put a seal on the prayers you have prayed. And you have to say it 21 times. Oh God that answered by fire. I receive my answers by fire in the name of Jesus. And as you are saying that, some of you, while you are praying that prayer, your breakthrough will be coming to you. Some immediately will close now. Some within the next 24 hours. Say, oh God that answered by fire. I receive my answer by fire in the name of Jesus. Say it 21 times now. Basanda Kapola Kaya Boko Shentera Basanta Ribo Saponda Kaya Boko Shentera Ba Look at what is happening here Continue, continue, continue Something is happening over there Aha Jesus, oh God, that answer by fire. I receive my answer by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that answer by fire. I receive my answer by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that answer by fire. If you brought your implements of duty here, bring it out. If you brought water, or oil, or anchor, you bring it out. Bring it out. Father, we use this instrument, whether of duty, of career, whether it's water or oil or handkerchief, let the spirit of favor, let the spirit of healing, let the spirit of deliverance fall upon this implement in the name of Jesus. Every bewitchment upon any implement of business, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Let every watch, every oil, every handkerchief receive the anointing for breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let your power flow into these things in the name of Jesus. You begin to prosper. And your prosperity shall be an uncommon prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Now with a loud voice, I beg you, Especially if you like your family, pray this prayer. Powers assigned against my family. Receive your obituary now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Amen. 
Let us share the grace in fellowship.